Hey, Nathan here from PH Studios, and welcome back to another Tower Defense game tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to code the main menu entry class and get that set up so we can work on our menu systems. Now, this is going to be another quick tutorial, and for this series, I'm going to try to make each tutorial for each class. So each one of these classes... Uh, the screen classes here will be an individual tutorial that way I don't have to deal with part twos and all that stuff so so once we finish this tutorial we'll have eight tutorials left for this series and then we'll be done alright so let's get started this is going to be a very quick tutorial just like the last one was and we just need to get this set up so we can work on the uh, menu systems like the uh, options or the main menu system and the pause screen that will use the menu entries so it's going to be a public class main menu entry and it's going to be a derivative of menu entry and you get that from the screen system library DLL that I included. And I'm going to get rid of this namespace here. The uh, dot menu entries namespace. So that way I just have the namespace as tower defense game implementation. Okay, so the first up is a constructor. Public main menu entry menu screen. We need to pass it the... Uh, the parent, the screen that it belongs to, so it can, you know, do some stuff with it. Uh, I'm just going to call it menu. Uh, the title of our menu entry, you know, whether we want it to say play, pause, uh, options, help, anything like that. That's the title of the entry. The description of the menu entry that will be appear at the very bottom where it will say the menu entry itself will say play but the description will say select this option to play the game or something like that now once that's done we need to call the menu entries constructor and to do that we provide a colon after the closing parentheses and then we call base open parentheses and that calls the menu entries constructor and you can see the ones we have here so the only one we want is the second option the menu and the title and then in the code let's set entry description is equal to description All right, so now that's pretty much it for this class. Uh, you do have to, uh, if you want to add some effects later on, you can public override, and there is an animate highlighted. So when it's highlighted, when you have your mouse or you press a keyboard to highlight the entry, you can animate. Animate when a entry is highlighted, like pulse eight. And then there's also the update method, so you can update the uh, many entries. So if they're not highlighted, you can do some sort of things. Update all entries. So those are the two methods that are available. Um, it's pretty useful. That will allow you to animate the highlighted one. And this you can just use it to update each individual entry individually. Alright, so. That's it for this tutorial. It's a pretty quick tutorial, but like I said, I want to keep all these as contained into one tutorial each. Some of them might be really fast. Some of them, like the level selection screen, will be a long tutorial, probably like 45 minutes or so. 
And uh, that way, it just makes it easier for you and me for managing the series. So that way we don't have to deal with part 2, part 3, part 4, and all that stuff. Alright, so next tutorial we will cover one of the screens. Probably the uh, go from the top to bottom. That might be best. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We'll just go from the top down. So we'll start with the game over screen.